Administrators of the Students' Loan Trust Fund have been unsuccessful in their attempts to collect payments from over 20,000 debtors who have defaulted on their loans over the past 10 years. In an interview with City News, the Deputy Director of Public Relations at the Students' Loan Trust Fund, George Ferguson Lane, discusses their efforts to compel defaulters to repay a total of 90 million Ghana cities. We've engaged them, we've sent them letters, we've sent them reminders. In some cases, we've even contacted their employers. In all cases, we have contacted their guarantors. All these steps have borne no fruit. Now, when that happens, the act that brought us into being gives us the right to publish their details in the national dailies, and that's what we've done. So um, over the past week, we've published a list of defaulters. We published their names. They've published the, the institutions they went to and the amounts they owe. These people, once we've published, and we published it together with a demand notice, the next step is that we are prosecuting. So that, that is the status as we speak. According to the Deputy Director of Public Relations, the recent publication of the list has yielded some positive feedback. Those that owe know they owe because we send them reminders. We send them requests. So once the publication started, people have started coming forward. Because if, if you owe and there's a list published in the dailies, you look inside, you are lucky enough not to be part of it, you are not going to wait for the next publication. So that's the kind of response we are seeing. People being proactive to prevent their details from being published and the associated embarrassment. So that's the kind of response we are seeing now. He also encourages students who are planning to apply for loans for their undergraduate education to do so without hesitation. What they have in common is that the time period which I gave you as an average of 10 years has elapsed. So that's the average um, period. Open applications in January this year. Uh, applications are still open. So on a daily basis, students are applying. Um, we are unable to pay all of them at the same time so what we are doing is that we are doing it as they come in. So first come, first serve. And so we continue to pay in batches. And the applications are going to be open for a while.